Okay, so here we are with another lesson. This time around, what we're going to be taking a look at is loops and arrays. And with loops, particularly, we'll be looking at the for loop. Okay, so what we're going to do and what we need to do is show you how we can create a looping section inside our code so that we can repeat a series of commands over and over and over. This is going to be quite important later on when we start pulling data back out of a database and we have to actually walk through multiple records. So, uh, Logan, go ahead and let's let's set up some basic loops for them to take a look at. Okay. I'm just going to start a new script because this is, this is just going to be like a little test, truly a test script that we're not going to be really referring to later. This is just to show for loops in action. So, okay, to actually create a loop, let me tab over a little. And syntax is pretty simple. For, let me, little pet peeve, turn the highlighter on. For, and then we need... Um, Basically, we got three things inside that we're going to store. We're going to have our initializer, which is what he just put, $i equals 0. So we're setting up a variable that's called $i, and we're putting 0 in it. Next is going to be a test condition. $i is less than 10. So as long as this thing is true, we're going to continue repeating through this loop. That's our test condition. And finally, the last thing is your incrementer or decrementer, and you see that he's got $i++. plus plus. So what's going to happen is we're going to run through this for loop. We're going to do what's between this open and closing braces. And if everything in there, uh, it's, sorry, so here we're going to echo out nothing. Or just echo out something like loop. Okay, yeah. so it's just going to send and the word loop out. All right, because we ha we're not, again, this isn't, um, it's the web browser is accepting it, but this doesn't have proper HTML tags, but it right. is going to be interpreting as HTML. To, so to do a new line, you actually have to do a, a, a return, a BR. That'll so work. this will put a, a loop on each new line. That's right. So basically what's going to happen, let me reach over here and grab this mouse. So we're going to go through here. I starts out at zero. We're going to come down and we're going to echo out. And then, of course, also a new line. We're going to hit the end right here, come back up. I gets incremented by one. See in the plus plus at the end. Remember, it's the same thing as dollar i equals dollar i plus one. Then we're going to check, or basically PHP will then check to see is one less than ten. If the answer is true, we'll do the loop again. Then when we're done, we'll come back up here, increment i to two. If two is less than ten, it's going to do it again, and it's going to continue doing it until we hit um, nine. And when we hit nine, it's going to increment uh, to ten. And then is ten less than ten? The answer is no. We exit out and we continue with any code thereafter. So that's that's it for uh, we can test this. So let me just uh, save this out. We'll just call it say loop.php. Save it. Load up the web browser and let's grab that loop.php. There boop, we have. Boop, 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 boop. Quite simple, so, right? Yep. Now how about uh, how about show them how we can use dollar i? Maybe right. concatenate that into it. Because this variable exists here and elsewhere in the script once we've initialized it here. So we can use that. So we can say loop uh, number and then let me I just do dollar sign i because remember back in the counter I I didn't break out of the uh, the string to print dollar sign views. Here I did break out. Um, as long as you're using double quotes, you can go ahead and put a, a variable inside those double quotes, and it'll, it'll still work. So I'm not going to break out. I'm just going to say loop number whatever's in dollar sign i do a new line. So save it, and run it. Let's load this up, save it. Loop number. So now that you can see exactly what's actually happening, remember of course when the dollar i is first set to zero, then we run through the loop. Then after we run through the code that was inside the loop. We then increment i, so then it becomes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And like I showed you a second ago when I was actually demoing the code, when we get out to where we hit 10, 10 is not less than 10, so we do not do the code that's inside the loop. Right. We then exit out. If you want to actually include 10 and have it print a line number 10, it's less, than less than or equal, equal to. to. So that way, once it hits 10, it's still true, so it'll still run this line. That's it. So, And there we have our 10. Absolutely. So uh, so let's let's make this a little bit more interesting now. Now that they see the very basics for loops, let's go ahead and add some array elements into this and show them walking through it in an array. Okay. This is where loops get very, very useful is when you have an array. And um, let me go over and let me create an array and explain it real quick. So I'll do dollar sign temp equals array. Now, array is useful for uh, basically assigning an array to a variable. And you can go in there and create each individual element. So, so say temp, the first element will be 1, second element will be 2, and this really doesn't matter. It's just putting different strings as elements. Could be animal, array. cow, 
In fact, won't make that Cal. one instead of yeah. There you go. Cal. He was thinking and just like so me. <laughs> so there, we've got an array with four elements holding these strings in it. And um, so now, I was just going to add real quick. So basically, dollar temp uh, has, I guess you could call them like little compartments inside of it. And uh, we're, we're used to referring to them as elements. And inside each element, you have one, two, cal, and toe. Right. So now, if you were just to um, just to echo one of these out to the browser, you could do echo not close, dollar sign temp. Then in brackets, what element do you want? So we could grab element one. This is this is zero base. So this element is our, or this a string is element zero. This string is element one, two, and three. So if we grab temp element one, we'll be grabbing this. So let's run that. Let's so if we echo that out. And let me real quick just exit so we go ahead and just short circuit the script, terminate it here so we don't have the extra stuff in our way. Looks good. So I'll just say that out and run it. Two. Two. Right on. So what if we wanted to output everything that was inside this array? I'm going to just go ahead and take this whole line out because we don't need it. You see you just uh, the array you want, what element you want inside of square brackets. So instead of having a one, we could substitute that with dollar i. I. Now, not only that. We're setting we're going to ten. What if we want to we uh, we want to see how many? Say we uh, we got this array from elsewhere. We don't know how many elements are in it. We want to know how many there are, so we know how many to loop to. Let me take the equals out. And now you have um, you can use count. This is a built-in function that will return how many elements are in an array. So count dollar sign temp. This will no matter how many elements you add, this will keep looping until you hit the end of the elements in temp. Isn't that just beautiful? So that way you could add four elements, you could add 400, and you never have to go and change this around. The loop will always catch all of them. So loop number, we can leave this in, equals, and then again, I could uh, concatenate and drop out of the string, go back in, but it's not necessary here. So I'll do dollar sign temp, dollar sign i, equal. So, so loop number, whatever... Uh, uh, I or whatever element we're on equals what that element actually equals inside the dollar sign temp array. So let me go ahead and save that out. Refresh it. So Look loop, at that. or you could basically rep replace loop with element. So element number zero is equal to the string we threw into it. So one, two, cow, toe. And to show how this works, go ahead and go back into the script real quick, Logan, and let me get you to add, say, two more things in there, only up to the top in the array itself. So after toe, add. Uh, comma, do, you know, Mike, M-I-C, or, well, yeah, PHP and Mike. Now save that out and run it again, and you'll see how now the loop, boom, there. automatically adjusts itself because of the count. So that's that's making a, uh, a somewhat dynamic script now based off of an array that could be set in your script or could be gotten elsewhere. And this is going to be extremely important for us because here shortly we're going to be pulling back a series of records. from Yeah, from a table. Exactly. And we're going to need to walk through or loop through each record one at a time to handle showing them or echoing them out to the web page, etc. Right. Okay, so that's going to conclude this section. Logan, is there anything else that you can think of that nope, you need to No, that's the extent of what we need for just getting records out of a database. It'll be a little bit different. We won't have count. We'll be using a, a different built-in function, but right. well, it's the same principle. We're going to figure out how many elements we have or how many records we're supposed to be uh, going to. Okay, so with that out of the way, that concludes this section right here. Thanks, guys.